They published a new web feature documenting how agribusiness giant Monsanto Company is failing to deliver on its promise to make the U.S. agriculture system more sustainable. A sustainable system would produce an adequate food supply, safeguard the environment, and protect farmers' bottom lines at the same time. Monsanto, UCS says, fails this three-pronged test. Monsanto talks about producing more, conserving more, improving lives, but its products are largely not living up to those aspirations, said Doug Gurian Sherman, a senior scientist with Union of Concerned Scientists Food and Environment Program. In reality, the company is producing more engineered seeds and herbicide and improving its bottom line at the expense of conservation and long-term sustainability. I thought we had an audience. We do. <laughs> <laughs> Monsanto's public relations campaigns trumpet that its products, such as its genetically engineered Roundup Ready seed and herbicide system, will lead to an agricultural future that minimizes environmental pollution, addresses global warming, and feeds the world. The truth is decidedly less impressive, according to the UCS. UCS explores eight ways that Monsanto has failed to deliver on its sustainability claims, and the company is undermining efforts to promote sustainability by, one, fostering weed and insect resistance. Monsanto's Roundup Ready and BT technologies lead to resistant weeds and insects that can make farming more difficult and reduce sustainability. Two. Increasing herbicide use. Roundup resistance has led farmers to use more herbicides, which threatens biodiversity, sustainability, and human health. Spreading gene contamination. Engineered genes have a bad habit of turning up in non-genetically engineered crops. When that happens, sustainable farmers and their customers pay a high price. Expanding monocultures. Monsanto's focus on a, f on a few commodity crops contributes to a reduced biodiversity and, as a consequence, to more pesticide use and fertilizer pollution. Number five, marginalizing alternatives. Monsanto's single-minded focus on genetic engineering fixes may come at the expense of cheaper, more effective solutions such as classic, classical crop breeding and ecological farming methods. Six, lobbying and advertising. Monsanto spends more than other agribusiness companies to persuade Congress and the general public to support the industrial agricultural status quo. Seven, suppressing research. Monsanto thwarts independent research on its products, making it more difficult for farmers and the policymakers to make informed decisions that could foster sustainable agriculture. Eight, falling short on feeding the world. Monsanto's genetically engineered crops have done little to increase crop yield. Regardless, the company stands in the way of proven, scientifically defensible solutions. Crop breeding is cheaper and more productive than the genetic engineering that Monsanto aggressively pushes. And proven ecological farming methods ignored by Monsanto rely on fewer pesticides and fossil fuel-based fertilizers, notes Jerry and Sherman. But some of these practices conflict with the agricultural model that generates the company's products. How has Monsanto been able to burn into its undeserved reputation as a sustainability leader, in part by spending tens of millions of dollars annually to influence the public and policymakers? Monsanto spent eight million lobbying con members of Congress and federal officials in 2010, for example and more than 400,000 more in political contributions in that year's election cycle. At the same time, it spent 120 million in advertising. The undue influence of companies like Monsanto result in food policies that encourage less diversity and an over-reliance on herbicides and insecticides, said Karen Perry Stillman, senior analysis with the UCS Food and Environment Program. As the Farm Bill is currently being debated in Congress, now is the time to prioritize sustainable agriculture alternatives to genetically engineered crops in our food policy. Now we're in the time. Yeah, now we're in the time. Say no to GMO. All of us to be here on our way out.
out to Walmart, where we're working with Food and Water Watch, occupies throughout Iowa, throughout the nation, that are also gathering petitions and, and sending a message to Walmart saying, don't buy Monsanto's new GE sweet corn. It hasn't been tested for three new compounds. Those haven't been tested for human safety. We shouldn't be putting them on the shelves of our stores, in the digestive systems of our children, or in our water supply, not knowing what the impact of these compounds are. So it's going to be a great day. Every sign this petition, get in touch with your local Occupy, get in touch with Food and Water Watch, the Organic Seed Growers and Traders of America, and get involved holding us Monsanto accountable. Our understanding is they'd like to hear our concerns.